Now today is a special day in the Gregorian calendar year because today is the one day of the year in which I bring myself to give my bike the love and attention it deserves. If you're anything like me, the idea of cleaning your bike is about as much fun as walking. But in order to keep myself from doing just that, it's important to give your ride a thorough scrub once in a while. And there are loads of videos of slick mechanics waving fancy brushes and a week's worth of water around, but what if you don't have a tour bus with a hose? Is it possible to do it with a few simple things? Well, we think so. To start, we need to get the bulk of the grime off of the bike. Now, we here at Evan Cycles have tried various different things to achieve this. But nothing worked as well as this magical pink liquid that is Markov. Now, give your bike a neon shower, all over, let it sit for two to three minutes. Enough time to make a cup of tea. Now the good thing about muck off is that it attacks dirt and grime but it's kind to your bike. So you can simply wash it off with water after a couple of minutes. I like to remove the wheels at this point too, just to make my life a little bit easier. You can use a hose, but if like me, you don't have access to one, it's time to get up close and personal with a bucket and a brush. Now once you've got your bike rinsed, you want to start drying. You want to remove as much surface water as possible to discourage any rust or any sort of corrosion. Grab yourself a rag and get in all those hard to reach places. Really make sure these things are dry. So it appears our bike is clean. But is it actually though? There are a few things we can do to make this clean a deep clean. Now the first thing we need to look at is your drivetrain. That's your chain and everything it comes into contact with. Now this cassette can be a little bit tricky to get looking like new. And for that, I recommend something like this, a bit of bio degreaser. If you've got disc brakes, be careful not to get this stuff in contact, unless you like the thrill of impending doom when you pull your lever and nothing happens. Even better, cover your rotors up with this high-tech protective device. Now that that's set, we can get to work on this grease. Now, like the Markov General Solution, apply this liberally and leave it for two to three minutes to soak in. I recommend using a specialist brush, something like this, but if you can't get a hold of one, a toothbrush will do. Get in between each cog and dislodge as much grease as you can. You want these teeth clean. Folding a piece of cloth over is another great way for getting down in between the cogs. Swipe in between to remove all the black residue possible. A quick tip, this is easily the quickest way to ruin a white t-shirt and could be useful if you're looking to convince people you've got urban chic. Now the cassette is sparkling, we need a chain to match. Keeping a clean chain is essential to the long life of your bike. Over time, when grit and grease build up, they form an abrasive paste. And on a part with this many individual moving components, it massively accelerates the process of wear. Now, nothing will get a chain clean like a chain cleaning tool. But if you're reserved about buying one, then a piece of rag and a bit more degreaser will have to suffice. Fold your rag over a couple of times and hold your chain away from the chainstay so as not to scratch the frame. Apply some degreaser to the chain and wrap the rag around, then run your chain through the rag a couple of times. You may have to do it a fair few times to notice any real difference. It's also worth noting that no matter how many times you do this, you're very unlikely to remove every last piece of dirt from the chain. Also give the chain rings at the front and the jockey wheels at the back a bit of attention too. You want the whole drivetrain to be free from as much grime as possible. The final parts to clean on this bike are the disc brake rotors. Now, I've left these till last to lessen the risk of them being contaminated by other cleaning products. Taking a clean rag, you want to grab yourself some of this. It's disc brake cleaner. Now, apply this to the rag and really work on the outer edge of the rotor that passes through the brake body. Be careful here because the edges are sharp and also be careful not to get sidetracked by how great this stuff smells. Now we're almost finished and it's time to put the bike back together, but I'm gonna use this opportunity just to check all the bearings in my bike. So the wheels, the headset, and the bottom bracket, give each one a little wiggle. If you feel any play or any resistance, it might be worth taking them into store, getting them checked out, because they may need replacing. Now that the wheels are back in, the last thing I'm gonna do is apply a tiny bit of lube to the chain. I'm also gonna do the pivot points in the front derailleur and the rear derailleur, and work the gears back and forth a couple of times just to get it straight down in there.
Of course, the last step in this process is to take your newly cleaned bike to the most scenic view in your local area and take pictures of your bike for all social networking requirements. And if none of this appealed to you in one bit, then you can always bring your ride into one of our stores and get the hard work done for you. Don't worry about it. It's alright. We're used to it.